What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I have the Gold Orbit Claymore. This is a 5.5 minus 1.1 mid-range. It is a staple disc in the best FPO player in the world's bag, Kristen Tatar. What I have here today is this very cool looking Gold Orbit with the Wolf stamp. I mean, it's a very solid feeling mid-range. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be too flippy or too stable. It just feels like it's gonna fly nice and straight. Hole one, 272, par three. Oh, I, I didn't trust it enough. I thought it was gonna flip a lot. We're gonna be in circle two. Let's see if we can knock down a putt. But my goal today is to shoot somewhere between three and four under. We're gonna play nine holes today. All right, deep circle two territory. I'm gonna be putting with my pixel today. I'm liking the pixel. I need to keep it consistent. Let's see if we can toss one in there. Oh, off the top. All right, putter feels okay today. We're gonna be even par through one. But we need to get at least three or four birdies out here. Been really liking these pixels. On hole two, my main play is to slip on the tee pad, mess up the flex shot down the left side, um, then lay up for my par. So today, instead of that, we're going to take the hyzer play. I like the less stable disc on a hyzer. It's going to stay in the air a lot longer than something a little more dumpy that I'd usually throw on this hole. Let's see if it can stay up in the air long enough and get us a look at the two. That's the line. Does it stay in the air? I think that's going to be pretty close to the pin. Um, quick pro tip for you guys. Sometimes an understable disc will get more left or right movement than an overstable disc because of their ability to stay in the air longer. So sometimes the understable hyzer can have a little bit more utility than the overstable hyzer. Um, on holes like this where I really need it to carry, I wouldn't want to throw something dumpy like a Firebird or um, just anything super overstable because it's just going to wind up coming up very short. All right, the Claymore got exactly what I, what I needed out of it. You can never be mad when you're inside the circle. I've been trying to aim high on my putts. I really got get sick of missing low. One under par. Um, let's set the mark at four under par. It's going to be a pretty good challenge um, just as far as throwing one disc on every hole goes. But I think the Claymore is one of those like one disc round do it all type of discs. Hole three, 277, par three. It's going to require a very similar shot to hole one, um, probably just a little bit less distance. So I came up short on hole one. Going to try and throw a similar turning shot to what I threw on hole one. Hopefully we can build some momentum here and get two in a row. Wow. For a second, I thought that could have been an ace run, but we really saw that one fade start to kick in at the end. This is a really nice mid range. I adore throwing mids, and I just love a disc that really follows that minus one turn with that one fade. They're just so easy to control. All right. Again, we've put ourselves in the circle. All you can ask for is birdie opportunities. It just boils down to how's the putt looking today. Oh, nope. That's pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. Not going to make them all. Hole four, 214 foot par three. Um, the only thing I'm really worried about on this hole is the Claymore going a little too long. But an ace wouldn't hurt, so we got to at least give it a run. Did I ace it? Fade? It. That's it. How did that not go in? That was very, very good try. <laughs> And today's video would not be possible without the help of Power Grip USA. They provided me with this disc a while ago. I've been sitting on it for a while. I'm not sure why, why I haven't gotten this review out yet. Um, I just love throwing mid ranges. So usually I get those all those reviews done first because that's my favorite sort of that four to six speed is my favorite slot to throw out on the course. And this is something that actually could potentially go into my bag because I did recently lose my favorite ESP Meteor. And this Claymore is flying very similar to how my Meteor was flying. All right, the more holes we miss, the more the pressure is mounting, and I'm really starting to feel the pressure here on the green. <laughs> I'd like to put myself a little closer on the next few holes. Oh, come on. Yes! Man, feeling sketchy on the green. But two under par. We still have a chance to hit that four down mark we're going for. Hole five, my favorite hole on the course. 226, par three, muddy tee pad. 
This is a great disc to do the ace run with. Hopefully that bee doesn't sting me. That's an ace run. Does she swing? Come on, Kristen. No. How does that not go in? That was probably my closest ace run ever on this hole. I've thrown hundreds of discs at this shop. I've unloaded my bag probably 20 times. But just like that, we're three under par. I only need to get one more birdie to hit our four down goal today. Didn't start off great, but we're doing good now. Kristen and I are making a good team so far. It's going pretty well. Feels good to not kind of kick off that slow start. 280 foot par three, hole six. We need a little bit of a mini hyzer flip, but I don't want it to turn all the way over. So I think just a slight hyzer release with a nice firm toss should be about right. It's a little bit inside, but we're going to have an uphill kind of circle two putt at it. That's, that's fine. We still got a few more holes to get one more birdie. Bit of a disastrous tee shot, but we still have a circle two straddle at the birdie. Just throw a high letter fly. Oh, man, I really thought that was in. I don't, my eyes are deceiving me today. I don't know what's going on. Think par, still three down. Kristen, you've almost seen chains a few times today. I did hit this hole on my birthday, 2023. Wouldn't mind hitting it once more. That's the one. Oh! Dude, if you want to ace it, that is the exact line. Oh, man. All right, another pretty sketchy birdie look here, but again, can't complain. A birdie look nonetheless. I feel so much more confident on the green with my pixels. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, Dylan. It's going to be another par, unfortunately. That shot was so close to acing. It hit one of these two trees right in line with the basket. When I aced it with a compass, I hit it with that exact same line. What's nice about feeling confident in your putter is you don't mind going a little long. You got these little comebackers and just kind of just toss it in. It's not a big deal when you like your putter. Hole eight's a weird one. I usually like to throw like an overstable forehand disc um, or you can throw a hyzer flip backhand that's super touchy. I don't know what to do. So we're gonna go heads backhand, tails forehand. All right, we got tails forehand, first forehand of the day. I need one more birdie to hit my goal. I'm gonna assume this needs quite a bit of hyzer on the flick. Nope. Whoa. It's gonna, it's gonna come down to hole nine. <laughs> that was way more stable than I thought it was gonna be. All right, let's not count ourselves out quite yet. I'm gonna go with the patented Flixel birdie throw in. Oh, the stable pixel. All right, we got work to do. That's, that is what we call suboptimal, folks. All right, I have the camera zoomed in, so it looks way closer than it actually is. About 18 feet out, but I have the pressure of a 60 footer right now. All right, we got one last chance on hole nine. Can we get to four down? Hole nine, flex forehand. Let's hope we can get a little bit of stability towards the end. Come on, Kristen, we need one more birdie. Get over. It's gonna be circle two. So I have a circle two putt to go four down. If I feel a lot of pressure, when you set a goal and you aren't sure if you're gonna hit it or not, definitely is a good way to practice for tournaments because I'm, I'm feeling the pressure here. Iceberg Dylan putting for birdie at the European Open. If I make it, I win. If I miss, I lose. Oh, yep. He's got the clutch gene at least. Shout out, Kristen. We hit our goal today, four under par. Go get yourself one of these over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10. It'll save you 10% on your order. Except for on MVP and Axiom discs, unfortunately, but anything over at the website, you'll save 10%. Use my discount code ICE20 over at bergsdisksports.com. Get yourself the best disc golf bag on the market. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.